Okay, now when you go to set up your Twilio integration into phone sites, you're going to have to do this for each funnel that you have, um, that you want to have the SMS set up for follow-up. Um, you can't do it uh, globally for, for all of these, so I would have to do it for each one of these if I want to. Um, but I'm just going to go in here to this test funnel, and I'm going to go to config, and I'm going to scroll down to the third-party integration section, and I'm going to select Twilio. And so from here, I need to add in... Um, three fields, right? So I would have purchased a phone number from Twilio, and then I also need to get account uh, SID and, and auth token and add that in here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go over to Twilio. Uh, I've already purchased a number, um, and I've used it and so forth, so I'm, I'm just gonna show you uh, what you're gonna need to do here. So let's say that you've purchased your number and you forget where to get your phone number. Um, I'm on the dashboard section of Twilio here, and I'm gonna go into uh, let's see, over here under, under the side here for programmable SMS. That's the option that I had um, selected whenever I was uh, setting up Twilio and, and getting my phone number for the first time. I also have it down here on the, the side here, right? So I go ahead and click into programmable SMS, and I'm going to go under learn and build. Now, I already see my phone number down, down here, but I already have some activity. I have some recent messages, right? And perhaps um, you don't have... Any activity, right? So let's go ahead and go over to, uh, let's see, learn and build. And then I'm going to um, see that the number is right here. It's, it's listed under from, right? So it's this 508 number. So 508-841-3606. And then now I need to the account SID and auth token. So let's go grab those. So to grab those, let's go back to programmable SMS. And I can get it right up here, show API credentials. So I selected that. Here's my account SID and there's the auth token. So I can copy my account SID and bring that over here, put that under account SID. And then um, the default, for the auth token is for that to be hidden from view. So I would just toggle that, I would click into it, and then it would show me a whole long, it would show me a long string of uh, alphanumeric characters, and then I would just copy all that and then paste it over here. I'm not gonna actually do that right now, just because I don't want you to see what my auth token is. Um, if I go back over here to console dashboard though, there's another place that I can get access to the account SID and the auth token. And again, I would just click view and it would show me uh, the, the view there, right? So once you have both of those, you got your phone number added in here, and then you save the config uh, of your funnel, then you should be good to go. Um, the next step would be just to set up the follow-up in whichever page you wanted to add in the, the follow-up for, right? So you'd go into like this one here, for example, and then go to follow-up, get started. And right now I don't have SMS set up in here. It would give me an option here if I did, but I don't. So I would be able to, uh, you would see like a little box just like this in place of this yellow one here. And it would say uh, SMS, I believe. And you would just click into that to set up your SMS follow up. All right, folks. So if you're using Twilio for the follow up functionality in phone sites, or if you're using it in Zapier or something like that, and uh, you want to have any incoming SMS messages coming in um, to your Twilio number, uh, if you want that to appear, on your mobile device, then follow along and let's get that set up. So I have my Twilio phone number here that I bought through Twilio. I've got that and over in phone sites, um, I already have Twilio set up for the follow-up functionality. So there's my number, right? That's that Twilio number that we see right back over here. Now, <clears throat> so the next step is I need to set it up so that uh, Twilio will forward any incoming messages over to my phone. And that's going to take a little bit of coding, just a little bit. Um, all that you really have to do is copy and paste. I'm going to give you the code and basically you just uh, swap out phone numbers. And that's it. So I'm going to hop into, um, <clears throat> let's see here, uh, all products and services. Actually, no. I'm going to click into my phone number right there. And on this page here, this is the configure page here. Uh, it's going to look a little different for you just because the default uh, won't have all of these uh, fields open. 
um, but it, that might be a little different just because like when you come to this page, it looks a little different if uh, some of these options are different, right? So you have voice calls and faxes, no one's gonna use faxes, right? Um, you don't want the Twimmo app, you don't want the SIP trunk. You want webhooks, Twimmo bins, function studio or proxy. So select that. And then when a call comes in, you want this to be selected to Twimmo. So there's other options here. The default is probably webhook, but select Twimmo. And then also, um, don't worry, like don't worry about that right now because you're not going to have that in uh, your Twilio account. That is something we're going to create here in a second. But um, this section here, what this does is for any incoming phone calls, this will forward it to your mobile phone too. So that way you can take those calls too. Um, this section takes um, any incoming SMS messages, text messages, and has those go to your mobile device too. So uh, again, the default here probably is webhooks, Twimmo bins, function, studio, or proxy. Make sure you select that. And then under a message comes in, make sure you select Twimmo. Um, the default is probably webhook, but select Twimmo. And then we're going to select an option over here. So again, you're not going to see anything there when you come to this page. So now what you want to do is you're going to select this little red uh, plus sign. And you're going to give a friendly name here. So you can call it like uh, uh, SMS. No, what's one would be voice actually? Voice. And I'm just going to call it demo. You obviously wouldn't call it demo. And so the next step is under um, uh, the post, I'm going to give you some code here. Uh, I have it in Notepad here. And what you're going to put in is you want this first option here, the dial option to go in for voice. All right, and then swap out your phone number here. Uh, you'll want to put your phone number in there. And then you should get a valid voice uh, option or you know, validation there. And then just select create. And then it's going to default to mapping to that uh, option, that Twimmo that we just created. It's actually called a, a Twimmo bin is what we're creating here. Um, <clears throat> now the next step, you got to do the same thing down here for messaging. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my snippet of code here. This XML. All right. So this is XML. Um, the the ML part of XML just stands for markup language, and that's what the ML part stands in uh, stands for in Twimmel. So it's Twilio markup language is what Twimmel is. All right. So go ahead and select the little red add symbol here, and then drop in that code. Get rid of that. Same thing as that first line, but I had already copied it from Notepad, so I didn't want to dupe that, so I just got rid of it, right? Okay, and then change this. This is going to be SMS to phone, and then again, you wouldn't put demo in here. Just make it make sense for you. So, like, if this is going to be a phone number that's just for uh, a particular business, so like, if this is like, uh, you know, like a Break Free Academy or something like that, if I was setting up this uh, Twilio phone number just for Break Free Academy. Uh, then I would probably put in for the Twimmel bands, I'd probably put like um, a Break Free Academy phone, or sorry, Break Free Academy SMS to phone. And then if I had a client that was, uh, maybe it's um, maybe like a construction company or something like that, then I would put in here like Goodman Construction, and then that would be tied to whatever phone number that I bought through Twilio for Goodman Construction. All right, so enough of that. So let's select to create. <clears throat> Basically, I just wanted to make sure that the naming convention makes sense to you later on. Okay, so then the next step is select save. And that's all set. And there's nothing else for you to change here on this page. Um, if you ever, ever need to get back to those Twomo bins to make a change, uh, let's, let's show you how to do that. So you're going to go over here to all products and services. You're going to scroll all the way over and select runtime. And you're going to go to the Twimmel bins. So that's where these are created. So I already had two created. These are two one two uh, that I've created back in June whenever I'd set up uh, a Twilio phone number um, that we're using right now. Uh, now, so these are the two that I just created for this demo. But if I wanted to go in and delete this, then I would go down here and select delete this tool bin, or if I wanted to change it, like if needed to change, like if my mobile device, uh, you know, like my cell phone number changed or something like that, 
then I could change this number out, right? Or if the client's phone number had changed, I could change that out. That way it goes to the appropriate phone number. Okay, so we're done for, for Twilio now. I'm just gonna hit and cancel. Um, now the next step is I wanna go back over to phone sites. So I've already got this all set up, right? I didn't show you how to do this, but this was already set up before. I trust that you've already set up Twilio integration in your phone sites funnel. Uh, the next step is I wanna go um, into my funnel here, uh, and this is, by the way, it's not a complete funnel. This is just like a little demo funnel that I created uh, to show some guys in the phone sites group how to set up a carousel of images. So under the follow-up, I've got a single follow-up set up here. It's pretty basic. I think this is the default language. And then I put in, I customize it just slightly. I put in personalization. So that way it's going to pull in the person's first name and greet them into this uh, text message, right? Okay. Um, you could put in any other additional messaging and so forth. Enough of that. Let's go on to the funnel. And so here's my funnel. Um, just to show you that carousel real quick. So that's the carousel. Um, now, so. And once I send this off, then my follow-up message, if I wanted it to, uh, can then go into my uh, in my cell phone, and then um, if that person uh, responds back to my Twilio number, then I have both the outgoing message that went to them, plus also the uh, the message that they would be responding back to me. They well, once they respond, it's going to go straight to my phone because of what we just set up over here in Twilio. Now, I just showed you how this is going to be set up for phone sites, right? Same thing for Zapier. Like if you set up a Zapier integration where maybe you're, you're using Zapier's SMS functionality, which perhaps you're not aware that they have. Let's show you that real quick. This is just one that I had set up for Pierre in the group as well, just to show him how this could be done. Um, so we got this catch hook. Here. This was actually a catch hook off of a, a phone size funnel. Um, formatting the phone numbers because we want to make sure that they're formatted properly and make sure it has that area code in it because Twilio requires an area code. Or sorry, not the area code, but the, the country code. So I used this step to set up the country code. But uh, what I wanted to show you though is if he's sending out this SMS message through Zapier and it's coming from my Twilio number again, and this message is going out to a client. Uh, if that client responds back, it's going to go back to that Twilio phone number, right? And if we if we get a response, we want that to go to our cell phone so we can respond to them again. And that's basically, uh, in a nutshell, how you can set up Twilio to get your SMS messages uh, to go to your device if it's uh, coming like auto post from a funnel like this for the follow up or if it's coming back from a client where you have sent them out a message. Hope that helps.